Hi everyone, welcome back to UWorld's question of the day. My name is Samantha, I'm a nurse here at UWorld, and we're back with more obstetrics questions. So today the nurse is assessing a client with a suspected placental abruption, which of the following findings would support a diagnosis of placental abruption. So pause the video, drop your answers into the comments below, and I'm gonna jump right into our rationale. So our correct option is option number two. Placental abruption is separation of that placenta from the uterine wall. So the symptoms will vary depending on the severity of the abruption. It can be partial or it can be complete. Um, in this case, option two, that rigid board-like abdomen is a hallmark sign of placental abruption. Um, options one, three, and four were incorrect. Why was this? So we're often gonna see vaginal bleeding as mentioned in option one, but typically it's not painless. Um, other symptoms of placental abruption also include that uterine tenderness, abdominal pain, so not typically painless bleeding. Option three, referred shoulder pain. This is typically a sign of ruptured ectopic pregnancy. It can also be a sign of preferred gas pain, um, not typically a sign of abruption. And lastly, for uterine atony, meaning the lack of tone, in abruption, we see the opposite, which would be uterine hypertonicity. Um, in this case, the uterine is gonna be hypertoned, contracted, hard, um, not atony, which means a lack of that muscle tone. So again, option two was our correct option. Click the link in bio for more information on UWorld Nursing.